or so, I'll still remain on the board and still remain as chairman. And, uh, and the JFA will continue to try to find the truth in this whole matter and get all our documents back that belong to the JFA and not have the documents vetted by the county attorney. We are very capable of, of looking at our own documents and determining uh, if those documents uh, should be released to the press or not. So, uh, oh, all oh, right, right. right. I'm good, I'm good. Well, somebody's got to pay for uh, putting on the white shirt. Well, I know you remember. Come on. Uh, Secretary of the Board, uh, Mike Cavanaugh. So if you get replaced, does he get bounced? Uh, no, he's, I, he's, he's my appointment. Well, but if he gets appointed by the majority. No, 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 he's appointed by the. There's two, uh, also two legislators. There's two legislative appointments. A majority and minority. Oh, okay. Minority appointment is, my, is Michael Donahoe. The majority leader is Mike Cavanaugh. Can you talk a little bit about the county attorney vetting the documents before turning them over to you? Yes, uh, uh, in the letter that... Uh, you can just move on. Oh, sorry. Uh, uh, Speak into the mic. Sure. Well, what's always been the problem is that we've been asking for these documents since uh, the middle of November of last year, uh, and uh, there's been a, a constant delay in getting it to us. Uh, what's disturbed us is they are JFA's documents. They belong to a state agency, uh, and, and the county should be turning over those documents forthwith without any delay. But the county executive has deemed that uh, the, uh, the county attorney has to look at those documents before they give it to us, and then the county attorney is citing attorney-client privilege in releasing those documents. Now, the county attorney is not the attorney for the JFA, Matt Packman is. So I don't know how, uh, how she can uh, talk about uh, attorney-client privilege unless there's something in those documents that her presumed client, the county executive, doesn't want us to see. And that's why we've been working so hard to get those documents. Uh, we're also uh, uh, upset that uh, that uh, uh, Newsday's law request uh, has been fully uh, fulfilled according to Newsday and that they have to have to go to court uh, to get documents. Uh, we are a state agency and we are not controlled by the county and uh, so that's why we've been trying to get all these documents uh, back to us. I've been told this morning by the county, uh, by my vice chair, that uh, the documents that we had waited almost, goodness, nine months to get the first batch went to his office this morning, uh, and uh, I'm told that uh, Gil Anderson, the, cap the commissioner of public works, has worked overtime to figure out where to deliver the documents. Uh, and uh, uh, so uh, they're there now. Uh, they're plans. We don't know what's in them yet. Mike, uh, Mike O'Donnell has not opened them yet, uh, so we look forward. We expect now, after waiting nine months, we should get all the documents within a week. We'll see. Did the county executive give you a, a sense of how long it'll take to turn over the documents? After he fired you. Or after, uh, <laughs> I, I, actually, he, he, I, I, I don't recall in the letter that he, uh, that he uh, uh, said what time, uh, you know, uh, he said an awful lot of other things about me in the letter, but not when we get all the documents. Were you surprised to get that uh, letter saying that, you're, that he was firing you? No, the, the county attorney and I, uh, I'd rather uh, Michael Don and I figured this would happen. I mean, obviously the, the, the county executive must be studying public relations from Anthony Weiner. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know, and, uh, and, and he's made every misstep that you could make in handling this. And, uh, and I can't help but this is the 40th anniversary of Watergate. So I feel like Elliot Richardson when, uh, <laughs> when uh, the, the Attorney General fired Elliot Richardson for not firing all the other people. So uh, it's, it's very strange, uh, but this is Suffolk County, and uh, you know we like to think that politics is a contact sport over here. So uh, uh, we expected this. We felt this was the worst possible move you could make. It only inflames the issue. Uh, it, 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 it only puts him in a, in a very weak position. Uh, by, by not giving us the documents, and all we all ask is, why is he doing this? What does he not want us to see? Uh, and, and that's very disturbing. It's the, the reason why Michael Donahoe and I have been involved with this agency for 11 years, and why we elected to stay here, is that this is the largest public works project uh, since the Southwest Sewer District. And, uh, uh, and I always liked, I was a kid with Mike saying, no, we need a raise, we get paid nothing for this. And we wanted to make sure that the taxpayers' dollars are protected. Uh, and that's the only reason why we're putting up with this aggravation uh, and why we're going to continue to stay on this board to make sure that, that the truth comes out. Any 
Any other questions? Good. And I would ask, not to put you in a, 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 an opposition, uh, Mr. Uh, Presiding Officer, but if I do get bounced from the board, we have a holdover in the uh, majority uh, seat, and I would ask that I be appointed to that seat. We'll look at that very soon. Good. Thank you so much. Good. Thank you. Good. Thank you so much.